Hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishna. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send the file to ActiveMQ server. In the previous video, I actually showed you how to download the ActiveMQ and start the same in the Windows environment. We just started the ActiveMQ and even we created what you know one queue in the ActiveMQ server. So that is my 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 underscore queue. I'm going to use the same as part of this example. So go to the Maven project. So before we're going to proceed with anything, we have to add few dependency to our Maven, our Maven project. So after do that, go to the browser, go to the Maven repository website. You can find Camel ActiveMQ. Search for it. So then you can go for the first link that is actually ActiveMQ colon Camel. So as per this video, the latest version is 5.15.4, click on it. Then you can copy the dependency. You can add same to our existing Maven project POM. So go to the POM. So I had it here. So as soon as that is added, you can see all the dependency, all the dependency, whatever is necessary, everything is added to what you know our existing main project. Now which we are all good, you know, let's start the program. Go to the new, just create a class. I'm gonna create a class called file to active MQ. Right. I'm putting the same class into the different package for combat niche crush. Example four. Just give a finish. So the new class is created. Let's have a main method in it. So we all know the first step is actually what creating the camel context for this example. Camel context. Context equal to new default camel context. Right? So once that is done, we have to add context dot route. Routes new route builder. New the interface, I'm sorry, new routes builder, right? So here, let me throw the exception for why. So inside, we have to send the file to what? ActiveMQ server. So before we're going to do that, we need to get connection for ActiveMQ server. So have to do that. So connection factory, connection factory equal to new ActiveMQ connection factory. So now we have to add the JMS component to the camel context. Context dot add component. So what is our component name? My component name is JMS component. JMS component. JMS component dot JMS component auto acknowledge. So you have to pass whatever the connection factor that we have. So now we created the context we got the connection for ActiveMQ. We created the route. Now we have to define the endpoint. So the from endpoint. So since we want to send the file to the ActiveMQ server, so the from endpoint is what you know the file directory itself. File input underscore box. Our option is MOP equal to two. The two endpoint is ActiveMQ colon Q colon our Q name. So what is our Q name? So our Q name is my underscore Q. So please mention the same. My underscore Q. You can see that you know from an endpoint and two endpoint is created. Now let me start work the context. How to do that? Context dot start. I want this context, uh, you know, to be infinite. So that's what I'm putting in the volume. 
that means you know I, I don't want this context to end at all. So it's already started. So it will be running all this. So now you you can see that that, that we have already for a folder called you know input underscore box. So as soon as we add any file to this folder, so that file would be sent to what our active MQQ. Okay, so let me start this application. We'll see what we're gonna get. Okay, the application is started. That means our camel context actually running. So now we have this directory. Let me add any file to this directory. So now you can go and verify. So as of now, the queue is what empty, right? So let me add some file to the this existing folder that we have. I'm saying it's empty file. Still so finish. So as soon as that is done, you can see the folder actually received one file called empty. And now go to your active MQ. Just refresh your key. Now you can you can see that your queue received one message that's nothing but in the file that we sent. You can see what you know. So this is the parent that that's nothing but in a folder. So this is the file we exactly we got. That's a file name is consumed. So since we don't have any content in the file, that's what it seems to be empty, right? So you can actually put the content and then you can drop the same file to the uh, folder. So that will be sent to what? The active entry server. Thanks for watching.